guys, we saw in the last video the Beati Bridgman equations. Now I wanted to show you the Benedict Webb Rubin equation, which is pretty similar. Actually, these guys right here, Benedict Webb and Rubin, just improved the last model which I was talking about, which is the Beati Bridgman equation. Um, they rearranged the data and all these fixes and let's say corrections on the Beati Bridgman equations. And they increased not only from 5 but to 8 experimental constants, which is not good for us because it's difficult to calculate, but actually it's pretty good for the model because it's going to prove the model. Now, the equation is right here. And before you get scared, and let me explain you what is each term. So first thing first, these experimental constants are A lowercase, B0, B lowercase, C0, A0, gamma, and alpha. All other equations are, or, or variables are pressure, temperature, the ideal gas constant, and the specific volume. And this guy used this bar right here, but I really prefer using this bar right here, which states how much volume occupies one kilomole. So let me explain you very fast. Universal gas constant, temperature, Invented constant, ideal gas constant, temperature, invented constant, invented constant divided by temperature to the square. And of course the temperature is in absolute gas, so don't mix with that. This right here is the inverse to the square of that specific volume. Be sure that it's in kilomoles and not kilograms. And so on. Just don't mix these two. The first one is the A, which is this one right here. And the other one is alpha. Gamma is right here, and this letter A is not a constant, but it means the exponential or the natural exponential, okay? So I think uh, explaining you more does not really make sense. But if you have any comment or doubt, just send me a question, a comment, email, whatever you want to, and I will answer you as soon as possible.